Okay, now to brand new information into allegations of hazing inside the Dearborn Fordson High School football program. While school officials are staying pretty tight lipped on this, it's turned into a social media firestorm and that led to this a small silent protest this morning that school officials broke up pretty quickly. Our Coco McAvoy spent the day gathering new details as this tight knit community is left reeling. The alleged incident has been blowing up on social media with a lot of rumors and some community members and students are saying Fordson High School is not doing enough to investigate this, but the superintendent is saying they've sent out a number of memos to make sure people are informed. A series of flyers made its way around Fordson High School today, alluding to a cover up from the school following an alleged disturbing and graphic incident. And uh, from what I heard, what this kid did on a Monday is uh, ran around the locker room naked and decided, you know, hey, let me be a bully and bully this kid. Someone's calling it rape. Muhammad Hashem is a concerned Fordson graduate. And is there other kids in there that got harassed and didn't come out and talk about it? I mean, there, there's a lot of questions. Superintendent Glenn Maleko says there was an incident at the school involving students from the football team. The individuals that have been involved in this uh, were immediately removed from the school on Tuesday. Maleko says the rumors about rape are completely false, but... Is this a case of sexual assault? Uh, I can't comment on the specifics because obviously it's still under investigation. What I can say to you, it was it's a situation that will not be tolerated in Dearborn schools. Maleko understands students want answers, but says this is a sensitive case and must be treated as such. The students know that we've always allowed them to voice their opinion. In fact, I always respond to them as well. But what we did say is make sure if you're going to put something out there, it's accurate. Out here live now, the superintendent was saying he really wants people to know that they're taking this very seriously, but he says there are so many rumors on social media and that needs to stop. He says people are saying there's a video. He says that's false. He also says people are giving graphic <laughs> details that are also false in this case, but he says they are investigating this and he says police are investigating this as well. Back to you. Yeah, very tough to corral it when it gets going on social media. And Coco, I, he mentioned that this involved football players. Is that impacting tonight's game at all? So he wanted to be clear on that as well because they did cancel the pep rally today for students, but he says the game is still on for 7 o'clock tonight. He says they want to make sure that they're still going to have that game, but he does believe that students will also be protesting at that game tonight. All right, we'll be following it. Thanks, Coco.